welcome back everyone to the crew motor fest where today we are going to be racing in two different lamborghini hypercars starting off with our first race we will be in the lamborghini aventador lp 700 then after that we will be in the lamborghini huracan performante if that's how you say it i'm not in, not entirely sure but other than that let's get right into the, into today's video This is going to be a very close race for the Aventador with right in front of us being a Bugatti along with a bunch of other Aventadors and Lamborghinis so this will definitely be a close race. Light tuning, nothing too distorting. Front and side diffusers that widen the body while blending with the lines. Right behind the Bugatti now, can we get an overtake? If only I had enough boost we would have been able to. Come on, we're catching up, there we go, past the Bugatti into fifth place in the Aventador and we are catching up, no we're not, we are not catching up into the top four, now we are, we have another Bugatti bumming us into the Ferrari in front of us and that has totally put us off track now, this is very annoying, putting an overtake in which brings us into fourth place now, I really do like this car, the colour on this is pretty good as well, the pinkish purple I believe that is is very nice along with it being a lamborghini at the end of the day which is brilliant faster take the lead what's first person like let's check that out break 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 first oh no uh interior is very good though then with the lamborghini wheel and the interior of it which is very good and i don't think we've won this 50 percent through in the event door and we are still in fifth place this is going to be a, a very close race units in the world of those maybe 10 custom by liberty walk tops order fest PR. we're catching up finally Purchase right be up getting game. closer to the ferrari and about to oh break break get on the inside or not we still have a pretty good chance i reckon i think we have a pretty good chance corner cut a bit percent left of the race and we are getting very close we have caught up to the top four and passing the bugatti passing the ferrari and passing the other lamborghini which brings us into second place barely with that with the lamborghini right behind us but we are catching up to first place as well which is brilliant Putting and overtaking into first place. It only took us over 25% through the race, but we've now lost it. Sure <laughs> what are the odds of that? that Last 8%, can we get it into first place? I don't know. And we are catching up. Can we finish it? going for the overtake into first place that was such a close race that was so close kind of vexed the car a bit but we finally got it it took us the old race but we did get into first place that race kind of reminded me of being in when we was in the made in japan playlist when we done that in, I want to say it was the Nissan Skyline, but it might have been the Honda NSX. But that reminds me of that quite a lot. Nearly done the exact same thing all over again. But now it's time for us to race in the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Again, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but yeah, if I'm saying.
Okay, here we are once again, putting inside a Lamborghini Huracan, and this is going to be a very close race once again with multiple Bugattis, Paganis as well, along with a bunch of other cars, so it definitely will be close. And being in last place, it really isn't good. And I have just remembered that we are getting very close to finishing the Liberty Walk playlist. So that does mean we are going to be modifying our next vehicle very soon. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. Still in last place with a quarter of the way through the race already. This is looking very bad for the Hurricane. Well, we are finally catching up just about into sixth place into fifth past the Bugatti and Pagani and ee, this is going to be so close neck and neck with the Bugatti Veyron but we do overtake that which brings us, brings us into fifth place and now we've just got the top four to beat and we are slowly catching up I think as well which is brilliant into fourth place into third, into second, past another Bugatti, which is brilliant. But boy, oh no, over second place has overtook us again with fourth right behind us. But first place is so far ahead. This is going to be a very close race for third and fourth position, it seems. With the Ferrari being right on our tail. Here he is, very nice with the Huracan design as well which is very nice as well but first place is just right there and the part seems to be catching up annoyingly three seconds in front of us use all of your horsepower hurricane we are right behind him Slowly catching up with 25% left through the race. Right behind first place now, passing, just about passing him with 15% left through the race. And I think this race is now as for the win. Going 310 kilometers an hour through this straight, which is brilliant. Now 340 kilometers an hour with less than 10% through to go. Safe to say that we have won this just about again. Two very close races, but we have just about won both of them. Past the finish line in first place in the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Two very close races, like I said before, but we managed to win both of both of them, which is brilliant. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all did did enjoy, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more better content. And other than that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.